I think we've seen this before, but this is legitimately good. Guess how I'm taking you to eat, babe. Guess. We're going out to eat? Mm-hmm. Um. Take a guess. Take a guess? Yeah. Chick-fil-A. What? Did I guess right? What the frick? Are you actually how did you taking me there? How did you just guess that? That I think that is such a good hack, and yeah. I wish that my boyfriend had seen that video so that he could do that on me and I could pretend I didn't know. <laughs> like, I could forget that I've seen this and then fall for it every time. Yeah, although yeah. he wouldn't have been able to do it until now because he only just got a license. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but just to let everyone know, Tony has a hot boyfriend that has his license. Yeah, my boyfriend can drive and he's got a car. <laughs> uh, this video is brought to you by Hubble, fusing Australia's favourite streaming apps, TV channels and sports into a single experience. More on them later. You love to say that. You love to say that. But let's improve our relationships <gasps> one step at a time. One step at a time. Okay, tip for my ladies out there. If you want a man to like you, all you got to do is say these few words. It's Ooh. very simple. <gasps> Yeah, I could see you doing stand up. <laughs> Someone said that to me the other day and I almost married them, so it yeah, works. Yeah, it works. It works both ways. Not just a tip for the ladies, <laughs> a, a tip, tip for anyone. anyone trying to get into Tony Lodge's pants. <laughs> do you do stand up? You're hilarious. So you want to get in my pants? Finally, truth comes out. <gasps> I've seen this. I'm still really pissed off. <laughs> what, what is it? What? Is, what? what, what <laughs> <laughs> That's quite smart. That is quite smart. Saying my ex had that to get my wife not to buy everything at Target. You didn't get that? My ex used to have that in her house. No, she didn't. Yeah, she did. That same one. <laughs> oh, you can get that? My ex used to wear that a lot, actually. She used this? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Do you like how this smells? That smells like my ex. What the heck? Stop That's it. weird. What? You're ruining everything I want. <laughs> oh, you know whose dog loved those? Don't say My it. exes. Don't. I swear. That would work on me as well. A hundred percent, yeah. Except it wouldn't um, work on anything recent because my boyfriend and I have been together for like so, 10 so years. Long, yeah. So if he's like, like, oh yeah, my ex-girlfriend had that iPhone, I'd be like, I don't even think they had iPhones back then. Yeah, she had this Motorola on MySpace. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I go, okay, <laughs> got me. Things to ask your boyfriend to create a stronger bond. Oh. Do you think she's pretty? Do you think she's prettier than me? If I didn't exist, would you date her instead of me? If I looked like her and she looked like me, would you date her or me? <laughs> Can I please have some money? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that classic like um, when your boyfriend's at the end of his tether and you ask him if you if he'd date you if you were a worm? No. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it's like when you wait till he's like really had a, like yeah. had a hell rough day at work or something, and you go, "Would you date me if I was a worm?" And he's like, "Oh, I can't deal yes, with this." Yes, of yeah. course. Have you asked that? Yeah, I have. Anyway, not says, ironically, he always says, "Yeah, because you'd be the prettiest worm." <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> that is a relationship That hack, is a relationship yeah. hack. <laughs> Pro marriage tip. Keep your wife as your lock screen on your phone. That way, anytime you feel a little discouraged or need a pick-me-up, you can look at your phone, see your wife, and think to yourself, if I can handle her, I can handle anything. <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm my boyfriend's lock screen. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you today? Can I please get a Fenty blonde vanilla latte with three pumps of vanilla syrup, two packets of stevia in the raw, and two scoops of vanilla bean powder? Genius. That actually is smart. But then this is, so see how that order was kind of complicated? <laughs> yeah. And they go, so just to confirm, was that the uh, stevia hot chocolate on soy? And it's like. Well, she's still on the phone, so she can answer. I thought he was playing a recording. 
Oh, it might be. Oh, I just assumed she was on loudspeaker. Because you get her to say her order once and then you and just then go you press just play, play every thing. time. Oh, well, then they go, Are you sh- was that right? And then you just play that back again. My, Someone let us know which is which. My Both worry good. was that um, she's on speaker and she obviously sounds like California hot girl. And yeah. then he rogues on and goes, yeah, just on card. Yeah. <laughs> and they go, well, where did she go? <laughs> oh, sorry. I made this for a hot girl, not yeah. some yeah. bro with not a beard. Not some guy, yeah. <laughs> People always ask me, Dan, What's your best relationship hacks? Easy. Always show him who's boss. Are you fucking joking? <laughs> Always show him who's boss. Can I do that? I'm going to push push Are you joking? She's going to leave the house quick. <laughs> <laughs> Not because of that. Not because of that? I'll probably give that a half hour, I reckon. <laughs> Oh, you would do that. What? Oh, you are a classic knife and spoon in the dish. In oh, the I'll sink. do that, but I wouldn't like walk past and like. But sometimes if I've got a knife out, that'll be like. You don't know whether you're having another piece of toast. No, I get it. It's my knife for the day. Yes, yeah, a day knife. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> maybe I'll have and some, a nice knife. <laughs> maybe I'll have some toast for breakfast and then later want to eat some more toast and for afternoon tea have some toast. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm just. And that's just the same butter. You know, the same peanut butter. Yeah. Like put, just leave it there. It's just still good to go. Yeah, I agree. If I have another coffee, do I want a new spoon? I got to clean two spoons. Oh yeah, and that's just big brain behavior. Thank you. I lie about my height on Tinder, but instead of going up, I go down. Instead of saying six feet, I say five six. <clears throat> that way, I show up to the restaurant and they're thinking, "Wow, he's way taller than I thought. He's not five six. He's really five ten. Now they're blown away. Instead of being disappointed, now they're like, "Oh, I'm so freaking flabbergasted. I'm definitely going to go home with him." The only problem is I don't actually match with anyone because of this. But once I do, it's game over. <laughs> Under promise. Over deliver. Every time. Yep. All right. Question. Question. Do you spend more time watching movies with your partner or more time choosing movies with your partner? The other night, we scrolled 45 minutes, didn't watch anything, went to bed. <laughs> that happens a lot. Oh, we've been, yeah, oh, you just end up on your phone and you go, oh, well, I guess. Yeah, might as well go to bed now. I might have a shower. Yep. Here's my relationship hack. <gasps> Bridget, my wife, will pick three movies as I go and get like the cups of tea and the cookies and stuff. Yep. Then when I come back with the tea and the cookies, I pick from those three and then we just press play. And the next time we switch it. Oh, that's good. Yep. Because it's three that she's happy to watch and then you just pick one. That's it good. It seems... Silly and dumb because it's so just like, uh, but now nah, that's gr- I really so you, like but you, that. But it, you, you can't take the piss. Oh, because if Bridget goes, Oh, here's three, it's um, Outlander one, two, or three. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, because you're obviously going to pick none of those and go to bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you can't take the piss, but it does work. <laughs> um, I also can confirm that this resulted in us watching Irish Wish last night with Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> Good. Yep. Good choice. Yeah. And speaking of good, the um, acting and storyline was very good. Good. The writing and uh, very unpredictable. A fantastic film. Five stars. Now, this video is brought to you by Hubble. This actually makes that hack a lot easier as well, by the way, using Hubble. Yeah. Uh, fusing Australia's favourite streaming apps, TV channels and sport into a single experience. And when I say fusing... Literally, you don't have to go out of Disney and into Netflix or, oh, I want to check the score, so i got to go out of Netflix and into my sporting apps. They're all fused into one single app, and I think it saved years of off your life. I think so too. <laughs> or you go, oh, hang on, which one was that on? Yeah. Or, oh, are we up to this episode or every, uh, uh, every time? Now, we actually know more than Hubble about Hubble with this next hack. Mm-hmm. Um, they let you stack and save, which means you can, like when the subscriptions are bundled, you can save a little bit of money. Everyone's like favourite B word, bundle. Bundle, yeah. bundle. But you can actually save a bit of money. But here's what I don't think they realised, is that when you log in, it shows you where you're up to in your subscription. Because you know how you get an email going, oh, we've just renewed that annual thing that you haven't used for 11 months and 28 days. And then the whole year's worth comes out and you go, oh, gosh, we're going to be watching a lot of that. <laughs> But then you're like, I, I, I have to watch it to it's, justify the spend. I've already spent the money. See this, so it's actually saving you money. Yeah, it's a not only a relationship saving hack, money saving hack, which in itself 
is a relationship saving hack. Um, so our TV is really old and like literally about to probably explode into flame. And um, we started using our Hubble Park <laughs> and it started making our TV work really well. And so now I don't have to spend money on a new TV. So that's a money win. <laughs> I don't know if that's a Hubble hack or just a story about a very old television. Yeah, but it's also a relationship <laughs> hack because my boyfriend wanted to buy a new TV and I said, no, sweetie, look, I've bought us this instead. So, I mean, I've solved like 80 problems with one thing. Uh, thanks to Hubble for sponsoring this video. Visit hubble.com.au to learn more. Now, we've actually put in the Tony and Ryan Facebook group, what are your relationship hacks? Amazing. There's a stack of comments if you want to go check it out, but some of my favorites here. Ali Davidson, always in capital letters, buy your partner a snacky snack from the servo. That's just good life advice. I like always want a little surprise. I just always want a little treat. I messaged Bridget the other day and I said, oh, I'm on my way home. Do you want me to pick up a coffee? And she replied going, why would you ask me that? Don't ask. Just, just do buy it. it. Do we say, what are we, how are we going to pronounce that? Han -ay? Han -ay. Han. Han. It's very similar energy. Mm -hmm. Their advice is send the meme. <sighs> if you think it'll make them laugh or smile, send it. Don't worry if they've already seen it. They'll enjoy it again, but they'll appreciate that you were thinking of them. This, even you and I, if yep. you send me a reel, I'm like, <laughs> you thought of me while you're watching something. Yeah, and then she doesn't watch it. And I go, remember that reel I sent you? And she goes, uh, no, I uh, do. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Okay, my from relationship. From a very low base. Tony Lodge's relationship back. Watch the meme. <laughs> 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 Whatever they send, watch it. Watch and go, it. oh, thank you so much. Yeah, and then, yeah. Oh, the best meme I've ever yeah. seen. You're so funny. Um, You should do stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Liz recommends the same thing that Tony recommends. Watch the meme. Wonderful news. It's catching on already. Liz says separate blankets. I can't tell you the number of times we would wake up angry because the other one's been hogging the blanket. Say, uh, separate blankets has saved our relationship. And I have I always, always said, said that. that. We, Torbs and I, my partner, yep. we ha both have a queen doona each. Mm -hmm. And it means that both of us can burrito ourselves up and the other one doesn't get upset and cold all night. Yep. And oh, it is such a game changer. And also because we've got a little French bulldog who sleeps between you know, us. Yeah. Then, you know, when the dog's sleeping between you and it's it on the blanket. Yeah. So it's like weighted and then you've got like a weird reverse yeah. tent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we, we've both got our own blankets and Pippa snuck was in between us and really what a perfect family perfect family <laughs> um you know how the, uh, it's a thing now that weighted blankets are a thing yeah but you've got one but your weight is a french bulldog yeah yeah so it's about 10 kilos <laughs> um, <laughs> localized to the leg or the chest yeah <laughs> uh, and finally liam said when trying to choose a restaurant for date night he'll scrunch up two pieces of paper with their names on it. Mm -hmm. And so then um, they pick out a name and they get to choose the restaurant. It's like, oh, where do you, oh, oh, it's my turn. Great, let's go to Mexican. Oh, that's good. We've been going strong for eight years in our relationship and my girl Becky still doesn't know that I normally write her name on both pieces of paper. So she gets to pick. Yeah. Or you could look at that the other way and go, oh, she just, uh, like, I have to make far. her do um, it. I thought choosing was the nice thing, but now that, no, 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 no that's, no, the, no, pressure no. And that's the pressure. And that's why it takes so long to pick because you go, oh, I really feel like Mexican, but maybe they don't. And I really want to, like, make the right choice. No, no, no. Yeah. Let's finish this beautiful video with relationship hacks on Liam being a dick. Yeah, Liam, you've gone about this all wrong, babe, but it's been working for eight, eight years. years. So yeah, who are we to judge? Yeah, say? you know, who, love them. Who are we to judge? Who are we to judge? Yeah. Who are we to judge? <laughs> uh, thank you very much to Hubble for sponsoring this our video. Our best friends, our new best friends yeah, at Hubble. Thank you for watching and thanks for, wink, subscribing. <gasps> That's a hint. Relationship hack, subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> love you, bye.